So there's an invisible spiritual realm in which evil exists. And, and it's real. It's a part of our reality. If you have someone against you who's a believer in Christ, if I have someone against me, listen very carefully, that person is not the enemy. We've got to be clear on that. The enemy is the enemy. It's, it's the devil. We have two other enemies, the world and the flesh. The world is not the people in the world. The world is the spirit of the world that lures me to do what the enemy wants to do. The flesh is my own flesh. Even without prompting from the enemy, I can self-sabotage by doing what the enemy wants to do. But the point is, both the flesh and the world are doing the enemy's will. And when I fear the enemy more than I fear God, it shows where my faith lies. We're all people of faith. The question is, where is our faith placed? Is our faith placed in the enemy or is our faith placed in Christ? Now, we don't talk a lot about spiritual warfare. But this is very, very real. And it's the place in which we live. And it's what we need to think about right now as a church. If there are problems that arise in your life, it would be tempting at times, and I've seen it done, to talk about spiritual warfare first. Well, the, the devil is, is at work. Um, and that could be the case, but sometimes uh, I'm just doing wrong things, right? So we have to examine the flesh first. Is, is my flesh acting out on this independent of what the enemy is doing? That's very important. As us, as a church, we look at organizational things like we have recently. What is going on that we can fix? In other words, um, you don't want to give the devil credit for things that we're doing. If we need to fix things, we fix things. But at the end, you have to be very, very honest about this. That there are only two sources of spiritual power. Everything else is make-believe and mystical. There's just two. There's good and there's bad. There's light and there's darkness. There's God and there's evil. That's it. And so as a believer, you have aligned yourself with Jesus. And by aligning yourself with Jesus, you have declared that you are for what he's for and you're against what he's against. And whether you recognize the enemy or not, or I recognize the enemy or not, the enemy recognizes you. Your alignment with Jesus Christ means that Satan has declared that you are his enemy. And there are spiritual forces trying to sabotage your life, your family, and our church. Make no mistake about that. 